guys. Hi. I'm Tabby. And I'm Rachel. And this is our little sewing offshoot from our normal knitting podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which we also sew sewing on, but um, we, we had a lot. We have, so I think, I don't even have it's been a few, stuff. like what, three months maybe since yeah. our last podcast. And we have been sewing a lot. I don't think I have everything I've sewn either. And we have a lot to show. Yeah. So we thought we would do them separate, see how this goes. We've it kind of be, wanted to do this yeah. for a while anyway, so... We're just going to try it out this time, see how it works. So yeah, for each of our projects, we'll tell you just like uh, which pattern it is, which fabric we got, or we used where we got it, any issues we had or changes we made. Yeah, just kind of our experience with yeah, the pattern. We'll probably go a little quickly this time because we have so many, but um, yeah. yeah, you can tell us how you like this. If there's yeah. anything specific you'd like to see sewing related. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, so let's just get into it and we'll All see right. how it goes. Okay, so our clothes are all kind of wrinkly because, well, Rachel had to put her stuff in a bag to come here to my house, and mine just came out of the dryer, a lot of it, so yeah. that's it. Here's my stack. <laughs> Look at her. Dude, she really... It's not even all of it because I made some stuff for my kids. I feel like I made a lot, but I mean, this is my stack, guys, and I don't have like, I have like three things and what I'm wearing, so um, why don't we start with what we're wearing? Oh, yeah, I right. am not wearing anything I made oh, recently. recently. Okay. I did that on the other podcast. Oh, then let's, yeah, we'll do whatever. Go ahead, you show what you're wearing. Okay, so I'll, yeah, okay. So to start with, I am wearing an Emmeline tee by um, Amy from Little Taylor S. And she has, is this her only sewing pattern? She was working, maybe. I thought she was working on another I, one. I can't remember for sure, but I really like this pattern. I previously made it in a knit fabric, which Me is too. designed for both, which is cool. Um, I had forgotten that. But um, she gives instructions for both packaging like I oh the packaging is fantastic best good, I've ever really bought. good um pattern so if you're looking for a good t-shirt pattern or where did um, she sell that on her blog I don't or, know we should find that out we'll, we'll try we'll, to have a link. yeah we'll try to have a link to it um but I really like it anyway so um I did modify the pattern as um from where from how it is because I wanted a cropped version to wear with I will have a lot of high-waisted skirts and like dresses um things like that so I wanted a cropped version which I mean I'm really uh, into the did whole. you just take length off I the did bottom or okay yeah so I'll tell, explain that here I um I followed the woven instructions to a T I think I made a small is what I remember um I just had a pattern already cut out so um but I cropped it at the length and shortened line <laughs> okay. um, because I measured one of my knitted sweaters, my um, nurtured sweater in, um, yeah, cause that fits you. Nice and spot. it was actually exactly to the, it was like the same length to the length and shortened line. So um, I did that. And I also added about like an inch in the back though oh, to length. that. Okay. So it would be slightly longer in the back. And so nice. I don't know for sure if that's like the, normal way people would do things like that but I really like it I've actually made two versions the one I'm wearing and oh, I can yeah. just show this you really good. this was the first one I made sorry this is out of a silk wall that's how I'm gonna say it anyway um and it's like you can kind of see the um the difference in the length here um but it's I really like this and um I wear this a lot with like my gypsums gypsum skirts and oh I forgot that I have to get that too yeah oh yeah and um anyway I really like this. This is the first one I made. This one's a little drapier um, than the linen one that I made, which I was actually a little disappointed when I first made it because it's a little boxy, but then I just like did the little front tuck thing because um, Helen from Helen's Closet, who made the culottes that I'm wearing or designed them, um, she put a picture of herself in her culottes and she had a little like thing Good. tucked in. I was like, well, that, maybe that'll work. Anyway, so it made me really like the boxiness of the linen version yeah. a lot better because it was, one. it looked okay from the front, but from the side, it was just like, <laughs> it looked a little crazy. So, um, it just wasn't maybe drapey enough to work as the cropped version, but it does if you like do a little front tuck for me. So that's, um, that. this is my most recent make. This is the only thing I made this month, I think. So really? I think you made... Oh, no, I did make my mom a birthday yes, present. I knew there was something I else. Knit her, I knit her. I sewed her a Blackwoods cardigan. Um, also by, so Helen's by Helen's Closet, which we have made so many versions of that. But um, I have a lot more to make, too. <laughs> it was my nicest version. It was, it's very nice. I, it's, it's it's a a nice took, I took gray. much care. Sometimes I'm not the best when I'm really like gifting. Anyway, so I really like that. So that was one of my other makes that I don't have to show. But great pattern. 
The next one we have, like, kind of both made the same yeah. pattern. Yeah, so you we'll talk about mostly. Show. I have a few more of these, too. I show these on Instagram. Um, these are my Jean Tees. Ready, and Ready to Sew is the pattern company there. And I just love this pattern. They're a little wrinkly because they just came out of the wash. But, um, yeah, I really love this T-shirt. Let me see one you can see. <laughs> one of them has a stain on it, but my pink mm, one. That's so sad. But you can see, like, um, it's kind of a boxy, just like yeah, slightly. Anyways. They're such nice. Pattern. I really I like mean, them. I, I mean, usually do the front tuck with those too. Oh, I love. This is such a nice tie. Nice. That one is made with the same fabric as this, just in a different color from black. Yeah, I'm sorry. Fabrics. I think this one is actually dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't smell bad, so I just wore it once. But um, anyway. Um, yeah, I have been dying to make this since seeing Tabby's, obviously. These three are the same fabric. Yeah. They're and they are so nice. This bamboo. Bamboo jersey. Bamboo jersey. It's so good. It's a nice weight. and It's, it's a perfect t-shirt weight for me. <laughs> a string hanging off there. Um, but yeah. yeah, I love this. My pocket is not the best, but it looks okay when I'm wearing it. I, think. I didn't put a pocket on my stripey one because this that fabric is hard. so slinky. But I also have a gray one. These are like, seriously, such a good t-shirt pattern just like a really classic t-shirt i also have an olive one and a white one but yeah. um i can't find them <laughs> oh, no. hopefully they're not my children tend to steal my clothes lately so we'll see but yeah definitely recommend that pattern it yeah. was a lot of fun so i have another um i have another fabric to sew mine up in i already have it cut out i just haven't had a chance yeah it's a super easy pattern and it's well explained i really like that pattern yes um okay so what's next what do you got? I only have like a couple more. So why don't you show a couple? You have more than I do. I have. Rachel was just talking about gypsums. I will show that. I have made my first. There we go. Gypsum skirt, and so it's in pretty. a blush pink tinsel from Blackbird Fabrics. Oh my word! I haven't seen it in person. I love it. So it's really much. pretty, and it's super comfy. It's um. Very jealous. I like of how this. like I like how swishy it is. I I have three and I really need more. <laughs> so it's a little bit sheer, so it's a little bit annoying to find the right length slip. something to go under it. Yeah, um, my really... slip is too short for it to look nice with. So um, I need to I don't know make another one or something. Yeah. But um, I haven't gotten to wear it really much because of that. So it's but so pretty. I really low. like that pattern. It's by um, So Liberated, and it's my first gypsum. Rachel has made several, so. Three? Three. Yeah. I need more. <laughs> so they look really good on her, so it convinced me to make one. <laughs> they looked really good on her, too. So It does. Shocker. I'm short, so it's like, I don't know, it's a little bit of a, like, some things look better on Rachel than they do on me, so. I'm too short, like, and my waist is lower than yours. I don't know. I mean, everybody's shaped differently. Anyway, okay, um, so I did, okay, they're horribly me else. I'm not really going to say I've been shown very well, but these are my Winslow culottes um, from Helen's Closet. And I did the version that she has a like blog post for it where you can have an elastic back. That's very nice. I love it. I don't know if you can really tell, but anyway, it's just like gathered in the back instead of pleats and you do elastic in the back, which makes it more comfortable. And, um, this specific fabric is a sand washed rayon and oh, it's made that too. Yeah, yeah, you did. And, um, it, uh, it's not the easiest thing to sew with. It's not even, it's yeah, not it's even not. so much that it's that hard to sew with, but it just warps. It does warp. Even when you wear it, like, so I think this was a good choice for this. It still no. has warped as I've sat, but, um, yeah. No. Maybe mom? No? Okay. Okay. Anyway, sorry. So, um, yeah, but I think because of the way the back is just gathered instead of pleated, it's. It works better for this yeah, pattern. For so sure. I really like these. Oh, it was not for sure. I was not sold 100% on the culotte idea. Um, I think they look great on other people, but I wasn't for sure how I would. I they, you can barely even tell it's a culotte. Yeah. It just looks mostly like a skirt. Yeah. Well, like a swishy, again, like flowy. I wasn't for sure. And I'm not the biggest pleat person. Yeah, you tend to be anti pleat. It's not like I'm completely anti pleat. I just don't tend to have a lot of them. So, but I really love these and I definitely plan on making more. Winslow culottes. Love them. I'm Definitely sure. give them a try if you are yeah. thinking about it. it. Wasn't Was it hard to sew them? I don't no. Think I, haven't knit, I haven't knit mine yet. Again, this fabric isn't my favorite um, to sew the maybe with, but... I have a viscose mold to make some out of. I want something that doesn't wrinkle. <laughs> I think mine is very wrinkly, but it's, it's... I don't know. We'll see. I will be making them with more wrinkly clothes. Fabrics. Okay, so this one is kind of hard to show because of how it hangs, but this is my... Um, a Malfi dress oh, by so Hey June Handmade. I really love this fabric. It's like oh. this little bees. Blackbird fabric. Anyways, I make, yeah, blackbird fabrics. It's a viscose 
twill, I think. Anyway, um, I really like it. This was my Easter dress this year, and um, it's hard to show because it's like kind of sits like this. Anyway, it's it just a little so bit oversized beautiful. right up in this shoulder area, and I'm not really sure what I would change about it. Okay, so um, I made my son a little tiny bow tie with the same fabric so for Easter, cute. and it was really cute. Um, yeah, I copied one of those, one of the ones they have from Old Navy. It's really nice. It's got these buttonholes. Mm -hmm. And you can just, it has like an extra set of buttons on that shirt and it just like buttons on there. It's great. Perfect. <laughs> it's so great. Doesn't bother the kid. Doesn't, yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. Not a choking hazard. hazard. Yeah. yeah. It's always a little scary. Strangulation. So, yeah. yeah. I made my husband one as well, but um, I don't know where he put it. So, <laughs> it's been a while. Easter is fun. I also made my Easter dress, which I do not have to show because it is not in my closet because I will never wear it again. <laughs> I made a fringe dress um, from... Chalk and notch, yeah. which I Tabby has made this previously, and she looks so cute in hers. I feel a little weird in she, mine. I she said this to me, and I always thought she was crazy because I think she looks so cute in them, and I can see her better than she can. So I was like, oh, it's gotta be okay, right? Anyway, I made mine again. It was a bad fabric choice. I just had this left. I didn't have leftover. I was gonna make pajamas out of this um, linen. I think it was a. I think it was a um, the linen it? rayon. I think it was a linen yeah. rayon. From like Hoffman Essex or whatever um I'm not sure but um it was this the color was bad I think it was just a little too like baby pink it was like bubblegummy pink and again I made I bought it to make pajamas I was not planning on making an actual dress wear out garment with it because I don't really wear that color pink I like more muted pinks and mauves and things like that to wear I just don't anyway I felt horrible in this dress you could tell on her face that she felt i was like, like which is like okay it didn't even look that bad because you could tell she i made myself a, a fringe dress and i made my daughter who is like 18 months old i made her a oh, little fringe dress so cute. in a um it was in a linen too but it was a like black and white like woven it's really pretty. It's, it's almost like a shampoo. i wish i would have brought that linen. because i love her fringe dress and she looked so cute Do you in a picture it of her i think so she i don't so think so actually it. because all i wanted for easter was to get a picture of my two little children together and it didn't happen oh no i, I mean it she did made happen Lincoln a bow tie and it was it really did happen, cute but they, neither of them were looking and they were like, like this. Picture. it was it's awful <laughs> anyway so um anyway and then my dress was horrible and i will never wear it again so it was just i think it was a bad choice on my fat it wasn't it was just the fabric again wasn't. it wasn't the um, it was semi-sheer so it was like you could see my pockets, pockets. yeah it was weird i was she, anyway I, it was kind of a rush thing to get this done and then I didn't really like try it on that well before I wore it and okay I, I knew it wasn't gonna be right anyway it doesn't matter but I didn't like the you dress you could just tell you were uncomfortable in it and it's not again anything against the pattern because I obviously like the pattern because you made it I made it and I liked it on other people it just needs a drapier fabric and not a one that you can see the pockets through so I would not recommend doing it in a linen <laughs> yeah so anyway it's fine I definitely I'm not like bring any ill will towards that dress. I just will not wear it again. Actually, I do. I kind of want to burn it. <laughs> anyway, it was just one of those things. Like, you always... I mean, of course, you're not going to love every single thing you make. Yeah, but for sure that, not. for me, was a big fail. I'm a little bit bummed with my dress, too. Just the way it fits is not what I wanted. So, it just... It does look nice. looks really It doesn't not her. look nice. I love the skirt portion of it. I... Uh, like, I, I feel like... I understand, though, if you feel uncomfortable in something... Yeah. You just don't want to wear it. But it literally looks so good on you. Like, it doesn't... I think if I made my Black black Woods cardigan, I mm -hmm. will like wearing it. There you go. But I, I honestly it. don't think it looks weird in any way on your shoulders. And I saw that. I don't know. It's just something... Okay, maybe but... it's not even my shoulders. It's, like, right here. Okay. It's, like, very large right here. And the sleeves are too loose, too. So, I, I think like if you have your of... hair curly, it, like, doesn't look weird Did I, like, curl my hair on I Easter? Think I think it did. It looked really pretty. I, I didn't feel like I looked awful. It just wasn't exactly what I was going for. If I make the dress again, I will definitely have to change some things about but it. But I understand. If you're uncomfortable in something, you just don't want to wear it. Yeah, it just is sure. how it is. I mean, even if it looks to other people perfect. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's true. I'm very jealous of her dress, by the way, because I want it. Anyway. And, I mean, a version of it. I don't have to have the exact same print. <laughs> that I would be funny. I would like it, but... <laughs> you can get make... it at fabric.com. I know. <laughs> it's not even expensive. I yeah. I like that fabric, though. I liked sewing with it. It's a really easy sew. Like, I don't know. I really liked it. What do you have, Neff? Um, I have one thing left, so okay, go ahead. I'm going to show... Well, I already showed this one, so I showed this on the knitting portion of the podcast. Yeah, I should show it. This again. was um, 
This is a undercover hood by Paper Cut Patterns, and I'm so happy with this. I did end up taking out like four inches of the body at the bottom. The side seams. The side seams, yeah, because I just tapered from the arms because it was kind of like, um, it's kind of like baggy over the waistband. I just kind of made it almost the size of the waistband so yeah. that it would... And I make it, uh, yeah, I made it I think I might so. do a list, at least a little bit to mine as well because I really like how the, it looks on you. It looks so nice. Yeah, I do love it. And I got, um, the fabric is a bamboo rayon, um, French terry. It's just a glorious fabric. I love this fabric. It feels so nice. I'm so, And it like, doesn't pill. I love this fabric. We've sewn with it several times in the past. I made my mom a Blackwoods cardigan out of this and I have a pair of Hudson pants out of this. So I have like a whole sweatsuit. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's awesome. But, um. Anyways, I love that fabric. It's one of my favorites. So, um, and I love that pattern. I'm going to be making several more. I'm so. going to be making as well. I'm, I have my fabrics already. I just have to. Yes. We have some fun fabrics to make Get my out pattern of. work um, cut out. You know, we get those from Shop and Mercery. Some yeah. Fabrics. Hopefully next podcast. Really we'll those pretty colors. Or really fun colors. So. Yeah. I like this okay. too. I wouldn't. So this is my Melolo by Deer and Doe. Sorry. It's very wrinkly because. I don't iron until I wear things. Some people are good and they'll iron as they put up in their closet. I do not. Um, and I think I just hung this. You know what um, Dave's friends told him the other day? What? That they, like they've been married for like five years. They have not used their iron once. Yes. No, I know. I, I was there when this conversation happened. What? Yes. Like, how is that even possible? She literally has an iron. And I'm like, I am so They dumb. don't look wrinkly. No, they don't. So they just like hang up all their clothes like right. But like, even if I hang up my clothes, they still look wrinkly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, look at this. This was not like, I don't think I put this to the, the dryer. I think I just hung it up to dry. Anyway, this is my Melolo and it's Sorry. out of a sh <laughs> Tencel chambray. No, um, you're totally fine. And I really. This is from Blackbird, right? Yeah, I did it's the version nice without the fabric. collar because I like, sometimes I don't like how colors look on me. It's maybe something with my hair or just me personally. I have an issue with some colors. And but I feel like this kind of color looks weird on me. That kind. I don't know. I think it's called a. Uh, Mandarin? Mandarin color. Anyway, I think it looks nice um, when I'm wearing... If sometimes I look at it, I'm like, does that actually look weird? But I think when I'm moving, it doesn't look <laughs> weird. Anyway, when I'm really, moving, really Just don't thing. stand still, still Rachel. Say, no, I feel like it doesn't look weird. That's what it I'm doesn't gonna look I'm going to say that. I don't think it does. It doesn't at all. The only problem I have with this shirt is I used to work at Cracker Barrel. Anyway, this reminds me a little bit of my Cracker Barrel uniform when I used to work um, it is a waitress color. at Cracker Barrel. Um, I used to buy the little boys, like extra large t-shirts <laughs> are not t-shirts button up like oxford shirts that was like our uniform anyway and this reminds me a little bit of that but it has a drop sleeve and it's actually really cute so and it's drapey I've, and yeah it's really nice fabric she doesn't wear an apron over it usually. i don't not a not a maroon one at least <laughs> oh, okay anyway, yes um anyway i really like it it has a nice i like the shape of the hem me too. and it is actually has a good bit of like shaping here yeah. or whatever. It's really nice. So um, I actually really like it. I have plans to make. I tend to too. like tie it anyway. Is kind of how I wear most of my. But it lays nicely with the way the back is. I think when <sighs> yeah. you tie it. I I really like it. I I am planning on making more probably in the future. I don't know how to really show this because <sighs> it like separates. I'm I'm so happy with this, you guys. This was kind of like a, not a whim, but like kind of. I had this fabric, I bought it to make diapers or something out of, like, a long time ago. Anyways, it's a um, heavy cotton fleece, um, like a sweatshirt material. Oh, one of these. This is a monarch jacket, and I don't know if it's, like, too It's a newer bright. pattern. It I is. Think. It's by um, Allie oh. Olson of Indie Sew. It is so pretty. Oh, here we go. I think it's it's just, like, this boxy, like... It looks so stinking cute It on looks you. so cool. It does. I love like, it. When you wore it last week, I was like, oh, it looks really good with awesome. a lot of stuff. So I'm really, really happy with this. Um, I like the ribbing. This was from Shop Bloomers 3, right? Yeah, the ribbing is like a... I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's like a cream. Yeah, mm -hmm. cream and like, I thought it was too yellowy at first, but then when I put these like gold buttons on, snaps. it didn't look... Snap buttons. Yeah. Snaps on. It didn't look so... Um, Yellowy, so I think I'm really, really, really happy with it. I love it so much, and I have this really random bias tape I think it's inside. cute. Like, I know, isn't it? Like, I understand. I made this, like, yards and yards and yards of this bias tape, like, five years ago when I first started sewing. Did you have a specific reason to make it? Or did you just, like, oh, I just make bias no, tape out of this fabric? No, I think I thought I would put it in my Deer and Doe Luzerne. You needed, oh. you needed a lot of bias tape for that. 
and it's like a trench coat. Look how pretty your your uh, label looks. Can you show me that? It looks so pretty in there. I don't know how much of this. Here, let's hit it. Put it a little bit. Well, this way. This way. You're good. I haven't put it in a lot of things lately because it's just like a extra, but I'm really happy with this. It was a super fast, super simple um, make. It looks so like professional, like. It feels like it a It definitely real doesn't look like some, like, okay. I, I feel it. like no, not many of your handmaids look handmade, but it looks really like you bought it from a store. I think. I think it's maybe how heavyweight it is. It's designed for like a ponty, like, weight the pattern is. Um, this is definitely a heavyweight. Like, feel how thick that is. It's very It's thin. not very stretchy. It's definitely thicker than my sweater. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it so much, though, seriously. And it looks it looks so nice. Yeah. I love it. I love wearing it. I feel it's really super, pretty. like, super me in it. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, I really want one, even though I don't know if I will feel me in it, but I love it. It's the perfect I did have a bomber jacket, like, in 2007, so. I really, really like that. And I was not sure about the boxiness of it. Like, I made the smallest size, and, like... I think my measurements, my hip measurement is a little bigger than the small size for, I forget what it is, but um, I was a little bit nervous about it. I did take it, like, a summer It doesn't really inch. hit it, or anyone, like, it doesn't hit at the hips anyway. It's, Even the longer No, it's doesn't. meant to hit between your natural waist and your full hip, which I think is a weird place to put it, but it looks good on everybody, so it does. I'm wrong. But um, I did shorten it some because... Um, you just wanted a little more cropped? Well, yes. Oh, sorry. Wow. Yeah, I wanted it a little more cropped, and um, and also my ribbing is shorter than the typical, like the wrist ribbing. <laughs> the wrist ribbing is like supposed to be really long, and my ribbing is small, so I wanted to like make the proportions a little more similar, I guess. So I just took it like some length off the bottom. Um, oh my! <laughs> Guys, all I've eaten today is she two, hasn't eaten. What's two wrong strawberry her? cheesecake donuts from Dun Dude, I'm uh, so from Tim get Hortons, some of those and they too. were so good. I'm so gonna get, I forgot about them. I don't think I actually finished the second one, thankfully, but oh, I feel awful. You need to eat. I we need, need to, to be done. Really. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I need to go eat. Wow. So yeah, that was um, our sewing, and that was a little bit um, rambly, maybe a little bit rambly. Very well, we rambly. did have a lot to show. Yeah. It probably won't be this much if we do another separate sewing video again. Yeah. But um, it's been. Like I said, what, three months? About three yeah, months? Yeah, that was a lot of sewing. Um, but I so really fun. only did this sewing in the last, like, month and a yeah. half. Yeah. Because I did not sew for a long time. I did time. most of mine before that. <laughs> most of all of my knitting has been before that. I, so. I tend to do it, like, in a big batch of planning in my head, and then, like, I just sew, 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 sew after I've planned for, like, months. Yeah, I think so. that was my problem is because I have been doing the planning, and if you didn't catch the first video that we put out, um, I am pregnant, and so all of my plans kind of... Got just, thrown out the window. Yeah. So um, I am planning a, quite a few maternity makes. We'll see if they actually happen. I have um, the Floriette Ooh, yeah. dress um, by Megan Nielsen. I want to do uh, some knit versions of that. I'm really excited it's about it. really good. I want to do some I of those eventually. I, yeah, there, it's not a maternity pattern, but I think it should work. I think it'll work really well. I, I can't see why. I still think you should do Charlie Captain. I think that would be I just don't so know. I feel good. like they look, they make me. You don't feel like you'd be comfortable wearing it? I feel like. I would be uncomfortable and I don't know maybe I maybe just have so. to find the right fabric fabric but like there's something about the top of it that makes like me there's a lot um, of volume I don't up there it's not that I have a problem with like this, that this top is very similar to this and it's not that it's just I don't know it's something about how other people like I feel like I, I would be uncomfortable in it for some reason gotcha. but I don't know that for sure and I might be wrong but no um, I feel like I would be too I, and now that you say that, I think, okay, I want one as, like, a bathing suit cover-up. That's what I want. I don't ever go swimming, so there's no point for me to have one of those. So, anyway, um, no, I have a lot of other um, things, I think, don't I? I want to make an Eve dress. Oh, I'm going to make an Eve dress, too. Yeah, from okay. so, and some, um, um, from so Oprah, also her pussy bow blouse. Oh, yeah. I, I think I've got that pattern printed. <sighs> I've got my fabric. I don't have fabric for it yet, but I want I want some of those because I think that it's also loose enough to work. And so, anyway, just a few things like that. And if you have good maternity, like things, things that, that you know, know, yeah. Also, I really want to try to make. I'm sorry, we can be done. <laughs> You're good. Good. I just want to make some like maternity skirt hack hack Somehow. things because I have a lot of skirts I want to make. Like had like a yeah, like the Christina Sel skirt, Christina skirt, a Sel Sel Selita's. The true bias skirt. Yeah, the true bias skirt. Oh, I want to make one of her new romper things. Like I, oh, that's one thing I am making soon. I the Shelby 
Shelby dress and romper. Dress and romper. I have this like tie dye fabric that I'm totally making a romper out of, even though I'm not sure if I'll ever wear it. Out it's of my not house. really tie dye. It's more like shibori. Shibori. Dye. I'm sorry. Will you just tie dye <laughs> like my shirt? you in like a full blown <laughs> tie dye like romper. <laughs> okay, we were way too excited. We need to stop. We just had a tie dye party for her daughter, and all of our kids tie dyed their own yeah. shirts, and they turned out. It was our so first time tie tie dye. Both of us. Yeah, we had like. Obviously, we knew people who tie-dyed. I mean, we grew up in the 90s, and we knew a lot of people who tie-dyed. Yeah, we never did, though, personally. And uh, our mom wasn't into it when we were kids, and we weren't either. But it was the cutest thing ever. And they all loved their shirts so much. It was... It was just the cutest thing. It was so cute. That's why I said tie-dye, not (laughs) shibori. So I wouldn't make a Shelby romper out of my shibori fabric, and I'm really excited about it. It may not wear it in public. I have a lot of fabric, so I can't justify more fabric, but I don't have the right fabric for that, which makes me sad. I really don't have, like, the perfect fabric that I would actually want to wear, like... It'd be a good muslin, though. Out into if, the... Yeah, that's what I... I think I, you can wear it easy. I think you'll be fine. I, I'm planning on it, but if I don't, I will not feel like it's wasted, because I'm sure I'll still wear it. If it like... were straight tie-dye, I would recommend against it, <laughs> but... <laughs> it should work. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. If you watched, we're a little sorry about the excitement level. We really like sewing. We do. Um, I feel like right now sewing has definitely taken more of a front seat. Well, especially when you're pregnant, sewing for something you can wear is so much easier yes. than like knitting something you can wear. I definitely it takes longer. Yes, and I definitely want to make some baby things. Yeah. Sew some baby things. We found some really cute patterns. Knit some baby things too. But hopefully, we'll have those to show next time. Next time. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and we hope to see you soon. Bye, Bye. guys. <laughs>